Hi, my name is Kweku. I am a pharmacist. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about seven causes of vitamin B12 deficiency. Now, vitamin B12 deficiency is quite common. Some estimates putting it as high as about 15% of the population, especially in folks older than 60 years old. The next logical question is that why is vitamin B12 deficiency so common? So for the next few minutes, I'm going to be highlighting seven possible reasons why someone may be deficient in vitamin B12. Now, the first one is the most obvious reason, which is the lack of vitamin B12 in your diet. Thing is that vitamin B12 is not made by the body. So any vitamin B12 that you get must come from either the food you eat or from a supplement that you take. So people who don't eat enough foods that naturally contain vitamin B12 or foods that have been fortified with vitamin B12 tend to be deficient in vitamin B12. Now, foods high in vitamin B12 include meat, salmon, dairy product, and eggs, and of course, some fortified cereals as well. Now, this vitamin B12 deficiency is even more serious for people who follow a strict vegan or vegetarian diet because these people generally avoid animal products. So if you are following a strict vegan or vegetarian diet, you need to be paying a little bit more close attention to your vitamin B12 levels. Number two, taking certain medications. Now, certain medications affect the way vitamin B12 is absorbed in the body or affects the absorption of vitamin B12 into the body. Classic example is the, one of the most common medications used for diabetes, which is metformin. Metformin has been documented over the years to cause malabsorption of vitamin B12. So if you are diabetic and you've been taking metformin for a while, good time to take a look at your vitamin B12 levels to see where they are supposed to be. Other medications that can also cause malabsorption of vitamin B12 are medications that are typically used for acid reflux. So for example, I can think of a class they call proton pump inhibitors or PPIs. Uh, this includes Nexium, Prilosec or Omeprazole, uh, Protonix or Pantoprazole, and a host of others. And also another class which we call H2 receptor blockers, which are also used for acid reflux. So I can think of aphamotidine and I can think of cimetidine or tagamet. Now these classes of medications have been demonstrated to cause malabsorption, especially if they are taken over a long term. So if you are one of the people that is taking these medications, especially over a long term, please be paying attention to your vitamin B12 levels as well. Number three, pernicious anemia. Now, people who suffer from pernicious anemia, which is a rare medical condition, are not able to make something in the body called intrinsic factor. Now, intrinsic factor is a protein that is manufactured by the linings of your gut. What intrinsic factor does is that it binds to the vitamin B12 and it helps transport it to the place where it needs to be absorbed, which is the intestines. Now, people with pernicious anemia have low levels or do not even make intrinsic factor at all. So it becomes a problem transporting vitamin B12 from the diet into the intestines or to the place where it needs to be absorbed. So such people end up being deficient in vitamin B12. Number four, excessive alcohol use. Now, when alcohol is consumed, especially in large amounts, what it does is that it irritates the lining of the gastric mucosa. What happens when the gastric mucosa is irritated is number one, it produces less intrinsic factor, which I explained earlier. It also leads to the body producing less hydrochloric acid. Now, these two factors are both important for the absorption of vitamin B12. So people who engage in consuming excess amount of alcohol tend to be deficient in vitamin B12. Now, to make matters even worse, this decrease in production of hydrochloric acid by your body also leads to the growth of certain bacteria in your gut that actually also utilize vitamin B12. So the little that is there that is not being absorbed is also being used up by these gut bacteria that have overgrown because of the reduced amount of hydrochloric acid that your body is producing. Number five, digestive diseases. Now, digestive diseases like celiac disease and Crohn's disease have been known to affect how people absorb vitamin B12. Now, for example, in celiac disease, the part of the intestine that is responsible for absorbing iron, folate, and vitamin B12 may become damaged, and this leads to less B12 absorption and ultimately a B12 deficiency. Number six, gastritis. Now, gastritis is a condition that involves inflammation of the stomach lining. And as I explained earlier, inflammation of the stomach lining leads to a decrease in production of hydrochloric acid and its attendant problems in the absorption of vitamin B12. So people with inflamed stomach linings or gastritis tend to suffer from vitamin B12 deficiency. Number seven, surgery. Now, people who have had any type of gastrointestinal surgery, such as a bypass surgery to, you know, for weight loss and things of that sort, they tend to have a difficulty absorbing vitamin B12. So people who have typically undergone such surgeries, are, it's usually recommended, your doctor will usually tell you to pay attention to your B12 levels and other nutrients for that matter, and they may recommend some B12 and other vitamins to take post-op. 
So quick seven common reasons why you may be vitamin B12 deficient. On your screen now is a video that I did listing the benefits of having adequate amount of vitamin B12. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much. Stay blessed and catch you on the next video.